What's going on? I just wanted to do a little update. Uh, first of all, um, all the internal parts for my full motor build are either ordered already and paid for, or I got them. So actually, this, these are all the valve train stuff right here. You know, the heads of the motor. Um, so I I went with GSC. Uh, and it was actually kind of cool because, you know, at first I, I had no clue really what to get. I mean, there's tons of different ones. You know, you got Kelfords, you got BCs. I mean, you know, you got different ones you can choose from. But uh, it was cool because my parts guy, uh, Jordan, at Define Performance, and my mechanic Andy, they both like GSC. So it's, you know, it's almost like fate. <laughs> and um, I really wanted to just leave it in my mechanic's hands. You know, I wanted to just like, you know, here's the money buy what you think's best and we'll build a really solid awesome car you know so uh yeah i went with jesse um let's see okay these are intake valves um in the picture they looked black because i thought they were nitrated but uh you know i looked up the uh i looked up the part number online and everything and you know, according to the information, the specs on it, it says that it is nitrated and it is uh, micro polished, and then even um, like swirl polished in certain places or whatever. I guess to make it, you know, just make it better. But uh, yeah, I mean, besides that, you know, micro polishing and nitrated, and uh, I think it's like cut away to be better or whatever. But other than that, you know, nothing too special. Now you've probably seen these before, but you seem pretty, pretty solid. And then here's the uh, exhaust valve. So 2011-8, and then these are the 2012-8. So intake and exhaust. And you know, from far away, they they pretty much they look the same. I don't know if I'll do this with one hand, but see the how the dish, see how much uh, there is on the edge, like or where the dish is in the center. Uh, if you look at the these are the intake, right? Yeah, you look at the intake ones. See the dish is there's more of the dish, and the edge is further. It's closer to the outside, so it's a little different for the intake and the exhaust. But other than that, I mean, like, the finish seems the same, and the quality is, they're both really good. And, you know, it's not like I'm going to try to hit a thousand horsepower or anything, so, you know, I pretty much want to get the motor built with good quality parts, have a good tune on there, you know, and then see what it'll do. You know, not try to push it. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. And then these are the, uh, Beehive um, valve springs with the titanium retainers. So, a bunch of these. And I think these actually, my, my mechanic said we can send these off to get micro polished because there's some in the shop that already are and they're nice. Nice and smooth. I mean, these aren't bad, but. Yeah, so 16 of these. And, um,. Yeah, these are the, the stronger ones. So, you're supposed to get better ones with the the camshafts anyways. But, uh, you know, they recommend these, but they're not, you know, needed. You could, you could get the lower versions and it'd be okay. But, you know, I'm already in to this build, so I don't want to go cheap now. <laughs> and then here's the, the camshafts. Um... This is how I, how it came in the box. Like they're in the same spots. I just took the little covers off of them so you could see them better. But you know they were in that order. I don't know if that is a particular order. I don't know which ones are which ones are what. But I, you know, I know they, some of them have like writing on them. I don't know. Yeah, but I was I was kind of looking at the the instructions that came with it. It was saying you know make sure your seals and your rocker assembly and all that's good, and make sure that these are cleaned off before installation. And I guess there's some 
possible warranty. But it's cool because it comes with this. So here's, you know, for all you guys that are, you know, you know about specs and stuff, this is it right here. So, because, you know, I, this looks like another language to me. I don't know what all this is. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to, like, see the detailed stuff, this is what came with it. Okay. So, yeah, this is pretty much, you know, for those of you who haven't seen the camshaft, this is basically what it is. So these these are pretty much uh, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but these are basically what uh, manipulate the duration of like your idle and stuff. Like you hear those cars with like the really you know, low blow 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 blow. It's because of the uh, you know the cams. This part on the cams because they rotate. And then it affects the um, what do you call it the valves and everything. So you know your valve trainer, they all work together. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty it, or la, pretty much it. <laughs> and all my valve train stuff is here. So heads are good to go, basically. Uh, there might there might be some um, some little things that we may need to get. I'm not sure. Uh, I know. Um, they're, they're like, I think they're called guides or whatever, but they're like little, little shafts that the valve stems fit through to, I guess, keep them centered and keep them in place. We might need to get those, I don't know, and I think there's seats or seals maybe for the valve stems also, I'm not sure. Uh, I know you can use the, the OEM ones, but I don't know if I want to, if, if we can reuse the ones that are in the motor now, I don't know, so... You know, but I looked them up. They're not too pricey. I mean, you know, so it won't be too bad. But uh, as far as the uh, bottom end is concerned, uh, I guess my mechanic ordered a, I think it's a 2013 STI OEM crankshaft. And then once you get to the end, he's just going to send it off to get um, treated. I know he's a fan of micro polishing, but I don't know if you can also get it uh, like heat treated, like nitrated. I hope so, but uh, you know, again, I'm gonna leave it in his hands. He knows what he's doing. Uh, the pistons and rods, I know the forge. I know the rods are the H. Was it the H tough? Not the I ones, but the better ones, the H tough. But in terms of brand, I'm not. I'm not too sure which ones he got. You know, again, I'm leaving it in his hands. The rod and main bearings, I found out, were King king bearings which uh he actually showed me a, a pack that he had there at his shop and man they they look good and the way the little holes like the little slots are designed for the oil it's just you know it's pretty nice you know engineering done right so i'm really <clears throat> i'm really happy that he ordered those for me and it's it's no wonder why they were so expensive <laughs> so yeah, um, and I always say it, but, you know, just stay tuned, slowly but surely, you know, it's going to come together and this build will happen. I've already got too much invested to stop right now, so, yeah. yeah and I, I think the way my mechanic was talking, he's just going to do kind of like a core swap type of thing where uh, once all the bottom end stuff comes in, all the short block stuff, He's going to take a, like a, a short block that he has, just an empty one, and, uh, you know, he'll have it bored out to, uh, honed out to 99.75 for the, for the pistons, you know, the cylinder walls, <clears throat> and then he'll just, he'll build it there, and then, so my short block will be complete and done, and then whenever, you know, I get all the money together, and every single part is together and ready to go, turn in my car, you know, he can take my my stock uh, bottom end and you can have that. And then slap the heads on, put the valve train in, the oil pickup tube and the oil pan. And then, of course, the turbo and the fueling and all the other stuff and the tune and suspension. And it's a lot, but, you know, by doing it this way, it, it'll be a little quicker. 
you know you won't have to build the entire motor from scratch you can just I'll have the bottom it done already so yeah but uh, in terms of like time or anything I have no clue I mean <laughs> I have no clue I don't even know what the like the final cost is gonna be or how much more I need to save up but you know in the meantime I'm just saving up and slowly you know trying to get all the parts together uh, I know there's some straggler parts uh, like was it like the gates racing kit the timing bell and I know people have mentioned like a better was it water pump or oil pump or something 11 millimeter I'm not too sure you know again I'm not going for freaking zillion horsepower but you know I don't want to skimp out on the build I want everything to be solid and that pretty much means replacing everything <laughs> so yeah it ain't gonna be an STI when it's done man it's gonna be a monster <laughs> a streetable monster all right well I'm going to go eat. Catch you guys later. Stay tuned. There will be a build in the future. Later.